Physics and rugby. Played in teams, rugby is a contact sport in which a rugby ball may be kicked, carried, or passed. The ball must touch the opponent's in-goal area to score a point. This is called scoring a try. Another way to score a point is to kick the ball through the opponent's rugby post. Newton's first law, law of inertia. Newton's law of inertia states that an object at rest will remain at rest and an object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an imbalanced force. This law is demonstrated in rugby when the ball is kicked or thrown. The still ball will accelerate in the direction it is kicked or thrown because of the imbalanced force that caused it to move. Newton's second law. Newton's second law states that force equals the mass of the object multiplied by the acceleration of the object. An example of this law occurs during a tackle. In this scenario, a 90 kilogram player tackles another player with an acceleration of three meters per second squared. Because force equals mass times acceleration, the 90 kilogram player with an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared exerts the force of 270 newtons forward. Finally, Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and balanced reaction. Proceeding with the scenario of the tackle, if the mass of the player being tackled is less than the player tackling, then acceleration of the smaller player must be greater. In the given scenario, the force exerted by the large player is 270 newtons. Since the force between the two players must be kept balanced, the force experienced by the smaller player must also be 270 newtons. So, if 270 newtons of force is exerted on a 60 kilogram player, the acceleration of the smaller player is 4.5 meters per second squared. Projectile motion in rugby. The rugby ball follows a parabolic or curved path when it is thrown. The velocity and angle of the ball influence the ball's time in the air, how high it will go, and how far it will go. If the ball is past a steep angle, then the ball will have more velocity in the vertical direction rather than the horizontal direction. If the ball is passed at a shallow angle, more close to the horizontal direction, then the ball will have more velocity in the horizontal direction rather than the vertical direction. In this scenario, a rugby ball is kicked with an initial velocity of 9 meters per second at an angle of 51 degrees. To find the initial horizontal velocity, we took the cosine of 51 degrees and multiplied it by 9 meters per second, which gave us the initial horizontal velocity of 6 meters per second forward. To find the initial vertical velocity, we multiplied the sine of 51 degrees by 9 meters per second, which gave us the initial vertical velocity of 7 meters per second up. To search for the maximum height of the ball, we know that the initial vertical velocity is 7 meters per second up. At max height, the final velocity is 0 meters per second. The acceleration of gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared since the ball is going up. Using our initial vertical velocity, our final velocity at max height, and the acceleration of gravity, we are going to search for the maximum height of the ball using the kinematic equation without time. So, the maximum height of the ball, the vertical displacement, is 2.5 meters up. Next, we're going to solve for the time it takes for the ball to reach maximum height in order to find the horizontal displacement. We're going to take the initial vertical and final velocity and the acceleration of gravity on the object in order to solve for time at max height using the kinematic equation without displacement. It takes about 0.7 seconds for the ball to reach max height. We will then multiply this time by 2 in order to find the total time the ball is in the air, which gives us approximately 1.4 seconds. We know that the final horizontal velocity is 0 meters per second when it lands on the ground, so we will not use this in our equation. Since we know that the initial horizontal velocity is 6 meters per second forward, and the time of flight of the ball is 1.4 seconds, using our regular velocity formula, we are going to solve for displacement. The horizontal displacement of the rugby ball is approximately 8.4 meters forward. This means that the ball traveled 8.4 meters horizontally.